Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and welcome to my review of Watch Dogs Legion's Bloodline. Now I know it only came out 3 days ago but this is a non-spoiler review so you don't have to worry about anything. Let me know if you want me to do a actual spoiler review after you've played Bloodline. But everything in this video will be no spoilers. So I don't really have a super structured script and everything like I did for the main game review. But I just took some notes while I was playing and I'm just going to talk about everything I thought was good, everything that I thought was bad, and my general thoughts on the whole DLC. So the first thing I want to talk about is the soundtrack. And honestly, the soundtrack for Bloodline was better than the original game. There were some tracks that I liked, especially uh, the mission music in the original game, but I honestly like the soundtrack for Bloodline more than I do for the original game. And something that I was pleasantly surprised to find out was when I started up the game and I, I was in the loading screen, I'm like, huh, that sounds familiar. And that's because the loading screen music is actually a remastered version of Ghost from the Past from the original game. It honestly brought back so much nostalgia from all the times of playing through the game and hearing that soundtrack. Another thing that I wanted to talk about that was pretty cool is that the upgrades, like the tech upgrades and weapon upgrades for Marcus and Wrench weren't actually based on going around the map and getting tech upgrades. It was basically like, complete this mission and you'll get this upgrade. And it had a whole bunch of different people, which I, I won't spoil too much because there is a, another person who's a mystery at the start of the game, but you'll just have to play through it and find out for yourself. Now let's talk about the tech, the upgrades, the abilities. First I want to start off with the multi drone which is like why wasn't this in the original game? This is so cool so it's basically a spider bot that can also turn into a drone and then you can upgrade that as well. Although after you complete bloodline you can't access it in the base game which is kind of disappointing. Now let's move on to Aiden's abilities. First of all, there is System Crash. Now System Crash is actually really useful, but it's kind of disappointing that they actually use the sound of the blackout from the original game, but they won't add the blackout into Legion. Kiss your tech goodbye. Like, please Ubisoft, just add Blackout, we all want it. Every Watch Dogs fan wants Blackout in Legion. Hopefully, you know, there's still more to come out, so hopefully they add it later, but it was just a missed opportunity in my opinion. System Crash was cool, it pretty much disabled, like, everything and, and distracted all the NPCs, but it wasn't Blackout, just didn't have the same feel. I feel like it's not really even worthy of the Blackout sound effect from the first game. Now we have the damage buff, and this is something that I kind of wrote off when I heard that they were going to be adding this, but it's actually really, really intuitive and really helpful. And honestly, I wasn't even sure how to get Focus to trigger really. I only got it to trigger once, but yeah, I kind of wish it was an on-command thing like with Watch Dogs 1, that would have been cool. Now on to Wrench's abilities. Lady Smash, the hammer, I used a fairly good amount of time. There's this ability where you can smack it onto the ground and it just makes everything go crazy. I didn't use Ninja Balls that often. Honestly, Wrench, as he was with his LTL weapons, he was just OP. He was super OP. Combine that with Sergei, the drone, which is my favorite thing ever. Overall, I think there are a few things that Ubisoft could have improved, but overall, their abilities are great and fun to play with. Now, I'm going to talk about the story, but in a, a roundabout, non-spoilery way, so you can make a decision on whether or not you want to buy Bloodline. There were quite a few references to older games that some I was even surprised to see in the game at all. The villain of Bloodline is better than... It's kind of a toss-up because I really liked Sky Larson, but it's one of the best villains in the game in total. It's better than Sirs, it's better than Albion. It's kind of a toss-up between Sky Larson, but it definitely did not disappoint me. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely much more content than I expected. I thought I was going into the final battle and there was a whole another section of the game that I didn't even realize. And even after that, there's fixer contracts that you can do with some really, really cool missions. All I will say is that if you do pick up Bloodline, make sure to do every single mission, even if it seems kind of, you know, 
counterintuitive or something you don't want to do, I, re I guarantee it is something that you want to do. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you will be surprised. So after all of that, I would absolutely recommend Bloodline. It was so much fun. You know, sometimes with these DLCs, I feel like they can usually be too short. They're never really too long, but this DLC was the right size. I feel like Ubisoft put a lot of work into it. It was really great playing as Aiden and Wrench, you know, for the first time in years. It's been years since we've seen Aiden. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on Bloodline. Have you bought it? Do you plan on buying it? Have you already played it? Please don't post any spoilers in the comments. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.